water is near freezing. Three minutes down. Seriously? I think my resilience is uh, better than I thought it was. And I'm not the only one going into the cold. It's a huge trend on social media. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> and luxury wellness clubs like this are offering cold immersion sessions. Why? Because bringing your body temperature way down is supposed to have major health benefits, like increasing metabolism and relieving stress. So what's the evidence that the cold has positive effects on our health? Let's get into it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Scientists think there could be benefits to cold exposure because of something called brown fat. Surviving in the cold is one of the main reasons we have brown fat in our bodies. A recent study found that people who had brown fat, which you can see around the neck and clavicle, also had a lower risk of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases compared to those without it. That's very different from white fat, which is associated with these chronic conditions and obesity. After cold exposure, white fat can turn into brown fat. I think about cold exposure as this is a way to modulate brown fat and white fat behavior, and can this lead to changes in our metabolism. Unlike white fat, brown fat has tons of tiny bean-like structures called mitochondria. They're the powerhouses of cells and also what gives brown fat its color. When they break down sugars or fats, mitochondria generate heat. So when you chill the body, this process revs up, which means that at least temporarily, metabolism goes up. Within seconds of being in intense cold, the body starts pumping out norepinephrine. It's a hormone involved in our fight or flight response. And it signals mitochondria in brown fat cells and muscles to break down sugars and lipids, which are the building blocks of fats. That means you're burning more calories. A study found that the human body's ability to break down sugars doubled after two hours of daily cold exposure for four weeks in suits like these. But just because you're burning more calories doesn't necessarily mean you lose weight. This study found that mice exposed to cold just ate more, so their weight stayed the same. And in terms of using cold plungers to reduce our risk of chronic conditions in the long term, well... There's still quite a bit of research that needs to be done on that to really solidify that idea. Cold exposure is also supposed to reduce stress levels, both physical and mental. The idea is that bouts of stress train us to deal with bigger challenges. At the cellular level, there's some evidence that cold exposure reduces inflammation and cleans up cellular trash. In one study, rats that lived in a room at 39 degrees Fahrenheit for a week had lower levels of inflammation-related molecules. And studies show that reducing inflammation promotes brain and physical health. It's possible that for mental resilience, there's a placebo effect. Though a small study of people who took up cold water swimming did see some improvements in mood. Also of note, most of the human studies on cold exposure have only been done in men. Women have more brown fat stores than men, and our fat seems to be more active. So it's possible if cold exposure has any brown fat-related health benefits that these would differ between genders. Scientists also don't know how much cold exposure is needed to see any benefits. Studies all use different protocols, which makes it hard to draw any conclusions. If you're thinking of trying cold exposure, it's important to know your limits. Hypothermia is a real concern. Every person's threshold is different, and it depends on your previous experience with cold. If you don't protect your hands and feet, you could develop non-freezing cold injuries, meaning you become hypersensitive to cold. Plus, if you're a smaller person like me, you'll get cold faster. Wait, I'm starting to shiver a little bit. That's because your surface area to volume ratio is higher than for somebody who's bigger, so it's easier for you to lose heat more quickly. Experts told me that if you have a heart condition, you should tread carefully because it could stress your heart out too much. So remember, consult your doctor and stay safe.